we are looking at circle so what does that mean if you have a point here and the origin there if you join that point it forms some kind of a line now if you have just assume you have many of those points that join exactly to the origin with the same distance you can have another one there join to the origin 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 another one there so you can have like multiple of those points all of them have the same distance to the origin now you can see from here that these sets of points even without joining any drawing any curve to join them you can see that they are already circle they are in circle now when you join them you form a circle that's why circle is a set of points join set of this point join together by a common distance to the origin and they have a single curve joining them now from here this curve is the circumference of the circle which is equal to the product of its distance which is the the radius the distance is modeled as the radius you can put r there the product of the radius of the circle of twice the radius of the circle times the pi well this may look like uh, a bit uh, straightforward but if you look at it from here let's say you have one line now you have to add one line then you have to add another line so as more as more line as possible uh, 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 you put together you will find that they are forming some sort of a shape which is exactly like a circle so this addition or additional lines that you bring in you know there's a term called integration uh, integration in calculus or pure maths so you are integrating the radius that's why um, uh, if you consider all the surface I mean all the area under the circle you will come up with something like R. So because you're integrating the area, you know, you can you can put it like R to the power N so that it makes sense. You know. Now this N is the number of times the radius link each radius links to the circumference. Now when you differentiate this one, you get N to the power I mean n times r to the power n minus 1 now assuming that we only need two radius two radius to to go across the circle you need two radius to go across the center of the circle you will find that if you have n equal to 2 then our r to the power n will be equal to r to the power 2 so differentiating this one will give us what is the diameter of the circle which is 2r now when you get the product of the diameter of the circle and the constant r you get you get the uh, constant pi you get the circumference of the circle but from here if you include the constant there you will get what is called the area uh, area of the circle which is equal to pi r square so this one actually symbolizes the the integration of the of those of those of those lines now when you differentiate this one you get the circumference of the circle when you integrate this one you get the radius so this brings us to 
two most important features of the circle which are the area of the circle and the circumference of the circle as well as the radius of the circle and this concludes uh, the video for the definition of what a circle is in the next video we are going to look at some of the features that can come as a result of manipulating this circle i hope this has been informative and thank you for viewing i see you in the next video